Sometimes we just can't get a head-on shot of what we want to photograph. And so we end up with something like this picture of a door in which the uh, sides are not parallel and the top is not level with the ground and the bottom of it is a little bit skewed too. Um, so I need to fix this. Fortunately we can do this pretty quickly in Photoshop. And I'm going to start out just by duplicating my background layer. I'll do a control J because I'm using a PC on a Mac it would be a con command J. And now I have this layer 1 which I'm going to work on. And if I mess this up then I can always go back to the one below uh, to the background layer because that's not going to be changed. And I'm protecting myself from uh, losing the ability to um, correct a change that I make by mistake. Um, I'm going to take a, up to the ruler on top and just pull down a guide so we can just see how far off it is. And I'm going to bring in a couple from the side. One to put on the right edge of the door and one to put on the left edge. And now I'm going to simply select all, which selects everything in the picture, and edit and transform and skew. And if I click and drag on the corners, I can straighten this picture. So I'm going to bring this out to where it's touching the vertical guide on the left and this one so we get a pretty straight edge along the vertical guide on the right. And I'm just going to press the enter key now to save those changes. And now I'm going to deselect and then reselect. And again, edit, transform, and skew, and work at getting the top of the door to be parallel with the ground. And that's pretty close. And I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom one. And it takes a couple of tweaks because when you pull on one end of it, you're pulling on the other end too. i bring one down here, guide down to see how we are at the bottom. That looks pretty good. This guide at the right is off a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to just accept this for now by pressing the Enter key. And again, deselect. That's Control D. And adjust my guides. Bring these kind of in touch. That looks pretty good. Bring this one out where I can see a little bit better on the right edge, left edge rather. And I'm going to, I think, skew it one more time. So edit, I'm sorry, select all, and then edit, transform, skew, and just tug on this right edge to bring it out a little more. I'm going to select that. Control D will deselect and Control V and D will remove those guides. And I've kind of taken care of that uh, issue of not being able to get head on the, on the door. I think it looks a little strange. Uh, there's just a little bit too much headroom over it. So I'm going to do another transformation. Um, select all and edit, transform, and this time I'm going to pick scale and then just grab this top middle and pull it up to where it looks a little bit better to me. And I'm happy with that. And press enter and uh, control D. And I've taken care of most of the problems, but I've still got the car showing up here and I'd like to get rid of that. And also it's a little dark. Um, so I want to make some adjustments on <coughs> on the um, brightness and contrast as well. I'm going to pull up the adjustments layer and choose curves. And I want to find out what I can do by just opening up 
bring some more brightness into it. And that looks pretty good to me. This is kind of a matter of taste anyway, so we'll accept that for now. And uh, so I just click again here, and that takes me back to the adjustments layer. And I see that I've got this car showing up, and I really don't want a car in the picture. If I'd wanted a picture of the car, I would have taken a picture of the car. So I'm going to get the clone stamp, the rubber stamp, the clone tool. And again, working on the background. Um, in fact, I'm going to duplicate that. Control J and make a copy of it so that I can easily step forward and backward in my um, step of cloning the car out of the picture. And uh, so I need to now select a place to get my sample. And I'm just going to make this a little bit larger. Uh, you can do that by selecting the side of the brush tool or by um, using the bracket. I just use the, uh, the square bracket. Left one makes it smaller, right one makes it bigger. And I'll get a sample, I think right along the edge here, and hold down the Alt key and position this target and click. And now I've got a sample of that. And I can just pull it down and click and drag, and click and drag, and click and drag. And I've gotten rid of most of the car. There's a little bit showing right in here, or it's shadow anyway. So I can get rid of that too, with a little bit more clicking and dragging. And it looks like I've got some artifacts here. Uh, these two bars, dark bars. And I don't want to have both of them showing up, because that'll look kind of fake. So I'm going to uh, just take them out by taking another sample. And dragging up here. And getting a sample maybe there and there. And taking that out. And now we've got our door, which is pretty much square with the world. It's pretty square on the bottom, not quite, but you know how to fix that now. And on the edges, we can see where we are. We look pretty good going across it. And it looks like we've straightened it pretty well. So that's the uh, that's it. That's what we did. We um, used the um, <clears throat> under image, uh, we used, I'm uh, sorry, under edit, we used edit and um, transform and skew repeatedly to fix those problems with the door. And then we wrapped it up with the clone stamp.